Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now today's video, very straightforward, very simple. We're gonna take a look at a seat from the company Warble. Now as you take a look at this here, you can see it's pretty much a five gallon bucket, but with this nice padded seat cover on top. This is pretty much just a lid, but it does have a swiveling padded seat on it, which for a very basic product, actually comes in extremely handy. I'm using this today as my kit to get some gear out here. I'm pretty much just coming to hang out, do a little filming, needed a place to sit. Thought this would be a perfect opportunity to test this out. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Warble who did provide this for review. Now again, a very simple product. I'm going to show you a few different scenarios today. Now this one here, very straightforward. I'm just coming out to do some filming. I wanted to bring some things with me. I'm actually testing out some other gear and thought the ability to haul this bucket might be a great opportunity. But then again, at the same time, I needed a place to sit down. So this padded seat cover here, very simple. Again, it's pretty much like a five gallon bucket lid. Now I don't know who made the original specs for standard lids on five gallon buckets, but whoever did, is a genius because at this point pretty much all the lids that you get are standard no matter what bucket you have that's certainly the case here with the warble seat now in terms of my ability to haul around gear of course i could have used one of a number of things but going with the bucket is pretty convenient to be honest with you it's very simple five gallon bucket has a pretty good volume overall in fact five gallons is about 19 liters of capacity so more than enough for like a day trip and in this case i'm just hauling some gear out here the bucket durable easy and again just gives me something to haul my gear but sit on as well now that I have my gear sorted out of here again this is pretty much just a cover and as you get this into place it snaps down easily no problem then when you need to get it back off again very simple has a handle and that pulls right off so very effective snaps down very well now in a little bit what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna test this to see if it's waterproof. What I was wondering is with a good five gallon bucket, well, of course, it's gonna be nice and water repellent, actually pretty much waterproof, and with the right type of cover, should keep your contents perfectly dry. So we'll test that in a little bit. But in the meantime, it's coffee time. So I'm gonna get myself a little coffee brewed up, enjoy this seat here, and we'll get down to some business. So now, appropriately caffeinated, let's talk about the Warbull bucket seat in detail. So the people at Warbull say this is capable of fitting buckets anywhere from 11 inches to 11.8 inches in diameter. Now as I flip this around, you can see there is a little bit of space on each side. So there will be a little bit of ability for this to kind of shift around depending on the actual diameter of the bucket. Now I can tell you the bucket that I brought, it's just the run of the mill five gallon bucket and this fits it absolutely perfect. Now this is reported at 1.8 inches of EVA foam at this point it is sort of like that memory foam cushion underneath this particular cover which this one here is in a camo color you can get a whole bunch of different colors i have one in camo i have one in black so i'll demonstrate the black in a little bit for other purposes but here the camo definitely cool has sort of um 
uh, I'd say maybe a real tree sort of look to it just in that sort of realm and this does sit on sort of a pivot and it allows it to swivel now the swivel works okay it does need to be broken in just a little bit so when you get it the first time it's going to be a little stiff but through time as you use it, it does kind of loosen up a little bit now they do say this is capable of holding up to 350 pounds which would seem a little surprising to me but if they say it we can certainly try it I don't have any effective way to do that but for me personally uh, right now I'm about 175 pounds and as we get this outfit onto the bucket here again you can see snapping right on top no problem and as I sit down it swivels a little bit I find that I kind of swivel first and it sort of follows afterwards but it does swivel again it takes a little bit to sort of break this in and if you're just holding on to the handle here it does swivel a little bit easier now of course the ground surface here is going to bind on the actual bucket itself to help this swivel if the bucket itself was on more of a smooth surface you might find the bucket itself sort of tending to turn but it definitely works and it's effective now of course out here today I'm just kind of hanging out having fun this is working very well it allowed me to get my things out here but who else could this be for well I would say this would be fantastic in a number of different applications if you are a sports coach I think this would be useful I know a lot of teams like baseball teams coaches will bring buckets of baseballs it would be awesome just to have a little seat and in fact I see a lot of coaches just kind of straddling on the edge of the bucket anyway so to put a little seat on top I know that would be well received in fact I might even gift one of these to my son's coach and see how he likes it I think it would be a perfect application for that so any sort of coach this would be fantastic furthermore ice fishing I could see this being extremely effective the ability to just slide this out on the ice sit down nice and comfortable get off the ice good and comfortable very straightforward so in terms of like outdoor different applications and different sports I could see this being a great addition to your kit and something else to consider this does come with a dedicated cover which will help keep the contents inside dry as well as the pad so with that said I'm about out of coffee here just a couple of sips left so let's pack up my gear we're gonna head back to my house do a little bit more testing and we're gonna check this for overall water resistance I'm curious if this is gonna be able to withstand some water and keep the actual contents inside the bucket dry now while we turn the corner here you can see the first thing is I am able to leverage the handle as long as I'm careful and just kind of raise it easily you'll notice that the cushion does get in the way a little bit of the handle but if you're careful you're not gonna really rack on this too hard and now I have the ability to carry this around but really the test at this point is in terms of the overall water resistance now this does have a cover so as you can see here it does have this cover which is going to be in essence a rain cover to keep this protected now you'll notice here it is just plain black this is something that could potentially have some other colors associated with it if the company did so choose I would maybe like to see this in a matching camo pattern because at this point if I was hauling this around I would want to get the benefit of the camouflage but in essence here getting this cover on fairly straightforward overall not too difficult it does appear to be if you're not careful just a little bit short in terms of the total coverage here so just taking a second it is a little bit small so unfortunately it does seem as though if I pull on one side it gets exposed on the other so this isn't really a perfect circle it's kind of more like an oval so unfortunately what that means is I don't get perfect total coverage but again just stretching this back into place as I mentioned you can see that cover unfortunately not entirely on the cushion but it comes close and so now let's test this for overall water resistance
you can see here, the water definitely does seem to bead off fairly well overall. And as I remove the cover, well, the seat itself pretty much dry except for those few drops that got on it. Now, of course, the sides may have suffered just a little bit just because the cover was not completely surrounding it, but at the same time seems to have done a very nice job. Now, the next part of the test is checking the contents on the inside here. And as I remove that, you can see the contents do appear to be perfectly dry, no problem. And as I look in the bottom of the bucket, still no moisture at all. So literally perfect. Now, what about the actual seat itself? Well, at this point, clearly you can see the seat has gotten wet. However, I am curious about the insides. And again, as I remove the cover, no problem. Everything inside, perfectly dry. So this does do a very nice job sealing the bucket and the overall ability to keep the contents dry. And so now back in the studio, just to wrap up a few last thoughts. First is after the water test, this actually did a fairly good job staying dry even without the cover. The second part of the test was getting this fully saturated and it dried out very quickly. So overall, it really didn't absorb too much in the way of water. It was mostly surface water and then maybe the amount that actually made it into the fabric. But then I just literally left it outside for maybe 10 or 15 minutes and it was back to perfectly dry. So that's a good thing. It's just a shame that the cover is not quite big enough to cover the entire seat. And I would also like to see the pattern on this. Again, going back to my point, the fact of the matter is if I was using this with the camo to try to actually get the benefit of the camouflage itself, maybe I'm a hunter carrying supplies, I'm going to be looking for a camouflage bucket too. Having the camo on the seat, but then on the cover being black, I just wish this also had the pattern so you'd kind of get the benefit of that. So a little bit of a downfall. I think this could be improved. But turning the corner just a little bit, what if you're a tradesman? If you had something like this with like a bucket boss style kind of organizer, this one here, just a generic Husky brand, but you can see this actually does work on top and you do have the ability to still leverage the handle. Now, I caveat that by saying you do need to be a little bit careful. This gets a little bit snug, but you can do it. And I think as long as you're not really like racking on this, it might be okay. I do see it's leaving just a little bit of an imprint there. And maybe over time that would wear it out and eh, leaves me just a little bit suspect, but it gets you close. If there was maybe a little bit more room it would be able to be done. But this actually sitting on top of this just fine. It doesn't click all the way down, but it doesn't necessarily have to either. The only thing would be if you could really just get this handle up into place to effectively carry this. But if you're a tradesman, so a plumber, or an electrician, this would be fantastic. There's lots of little, just tedious tasks where you need a place to sit down. A lot of times on job sites, there's no great place to grab a lunch. This would definitely do it. So having your tools nice and organized, having the seat on top working out very well, just a nice little cushion, no problem. I can tell you my father-in-law, he's a mason, He's always sitting on the edge of buckets and different things and actually carries most of his tools like this. This would be fantastic for him. So again, very close with the one caveat being it's just a little tight to get the handle up there. You can do it. I think over time, this might kind of wear and cause problems. In fact, you can sort of see right now as I'm doing this, it does leave a little imprint of a line. I don't know if that's technically damaged if it's like cutting into the fabric there. But generally speaking, I think you could get away with it. Again, it's a little tight, but definitely cool. So for the tradesman, I could see this being a fantastic addition to a kit, even sitting on top of something like this bucket boss here, working out very well. So whether you're gonna use this in the outdoor application for sports, team events, as a tradesman, very, very useful. 
Now, to wrap this up with some final thoughts. At this point, I am a pretty big fan of this. For such a simple, simple thing, very cheap and affordable, I do like this. I could see me using this quite a bit. And going back to the original bucket and then lashing it onto my pack, it's awesome. So really for me, what I'm looking to do at this point, get myself a nice camouflage bucket, take advantage of this nice camo pattern on top, gets me just short of about 19 liters of good quality carry capacity at that five gallons. It's a seat, it's a container, it gives me a little tabletop, just good versatility. Adding this to the kit, very nice. But what I would really love to see is kind of a premium model of this. So an upgraded model with just a little bit nicer components. I mean, this is fine as is, and it's a reasonable option, but I would love to see this with just nice premium bearings, maybe sitting on a metal spindle instead of plastic, a little bit smoother in terms of the swivel, although you can see this is breaking in. It's just one of those things that once you're sitting on it, there's a little more friction, but it's breaking in mighty nice. And generally speaking, really cool. Now, could you get into other camo patterns? Absolutely. You could maybe even team up with different brands and get their proprietary camo patterns on here, which I think would be amazing. So generally speaking, very, very nice. So to the people at Warble, again, thank you very much for providing these for review. And for the rest of you, if you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. That channel is growing quickly. I have a ton of videos up there. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.